Hello, hello, welcome to the Happy Hippie Intuitive. This is Nina and I am here to show you all my mini cards, pocket cards or tin cans of tarot that I own. So if that's something that interests you, then stick around. So I have been making quite a bit of these my card collection videos. So this is just one of them. You can find many of them on my page if you go over to the videos. And I also made a playlist so you can find that quick and easy. Now, I want to show you all of these today. You probably know some of them, maybe some of them you don't, but let's take one at a time, okay? So I'm just gonna remove some of them here so we can start. Hope you're all doing well. Grab yourself a cup of coffee or something, because this is going to take a little bit of time today. I think I have, what is it, 16 decks to show you today? So, gonna take a little bit of time, okay? So let's look at it. Let's start with the Yuellen Classic Tarot, this one here. So, there. Yuellen's Classic Tarot by Barbara Moore. Now this, of course, I also have in a big edition. It's quite normal um, cards, these ones. I think they are some... A lot of people have these cards, I believe. There, there is no guidebook with these mini cards here, but you know, if you know tarot, that's not really necessary. So this is the back. Maybe you recognize this back from videos that you have seen before. Uh, the bigger cards have the same back as these ones. The cardstock is really good. Um, I don't know where it's printed, if it is US Games or no. This printed in Poland, Yuellen. So I think they have their own printer. But anyways, so these are the cards. Um, very right away friendly, if you will. I think I'm gonna zoom in actually so I don't have to hold the cards up so much. That might be smart. There we go. Okay, so so we're just gonna look at the images of the cards here. So there's very uh, right away uh, Smith friendly cards. Beautiful images. Um, they're very colorful, these ones. I really like like this one here, it's so beautiful. So I really like the colors of this um, classic tarot. I know that there's one deck uh, of the bigger ones that's called something else, but it's actually the same deck. Um, I think maybe it's called something with beginner's tarot or... Uh, I don't remember, I'm sorry, but there is there is actually two decks, but they're called different things but it's actually the same deck <laughs> so anyways uh there you go so the classic tarot so i think many people use these i've seen them in uh, many different videos uh, that for people who are doing tarot uh, online so i think many people know these cards i am flipping through quite quickly here it's just to kind of give you the idea of what the cards look like um you can, of course, have the mini version or you can have the big version. I prefer to have mini versions, um, at least of some of the cards. And that's because, you know, when you go out or you visit people or you're out on a cafe and you meet up with a friend or like us here in Norway, we have cabins. <laughs> We're big cabin lovers here in this country. So uh, whenever I go to the cabin, for instance, it's very easy to just throw one of these in the bag, you know. Um, that doesn't take up too much space. Or if you're going overnight in a hotel, you know, stuff like that. So for me, it's always nice to have a little uh, deck in my purse. So that's why I choose to have these mini tarot decks. So that was the classic tarot, uh, Yewellen's classic tarot by Barbara Moore and art by Eugene Smith. Okay, moving on. So this one is a fun one. Das Feen Tarot, or actually the Fairy Tarot. So this is in different languages. It is a Los Carabello. Uh, so it actually comes also with a guidebook. So that's always fun. Um, and it's a classic Los Carabello guidebook where you have the different languages and where you have just the basics information of each card. So that's that. Um, so this is the box, and let's look at the backs of these. Uh, kind of simple backs, but quite beautiful anyways. And the cardstock is good. 
You see they are a little bit uh, narrow, more narrow and a little bit longer than the Yoel and Tarot. And Lo Los Carabello have their own kind of measurements on their decks. So uh, it's also with the larger Tarot, it's the same. They're a little bit more narrow and a little bit taller, normally. So let us look at the images. This is kind of fun, the fairy Tarot. So uh, here it's, uh, of course, different. The acorns are representing um, uh, wands, I believe. And then there are, of course, the hearts here. And then the leaves are representing the swords. Three of hearts instead of three of cups. So hearts represent cups. And the bells are the um, pentacles in this one. So these are very special images. And... They are kind of fairy tale y for me uh, when you look at these uh, images here. Um, so it's not just fairy as in, you know, fairy of the woods, but it's kind of a fairy tale as well in these cards. Um, it's, it's almost like you can, these could have been used like this here. It can be used in uh, a children's book or something, these images. So they're quite beautiful images, I must say. So. Yeah, I'm just going to flip through them quite quickly as well. Um, I do believe that these also come in a bigger size, in a normal size. I don't have that actually. I only have the mini size of, uh, these, um, of these cards right here. I'm sorry if I'm moving too fast when I'm zoomed up here. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's, it's a beautiful deck, it's fun images, and maybe I should get the bigger one because then you kind of get um, the, the little images uh, more detailed so you can see more of the details in the images, of course. This was one of the first mini decks that I bought, actually. Um, and I brought with me to the cabin and all. It took me a while to get to know this deck, though, because of the change of the um, pentacles and swords and stuff, but... Once you get into it, it is, really isn't a problem. So, so that's that. That is the tarot of the fairies or fairy tarot. Okay, that's that. So let's move on. Everyday witch tarot. So this is of course uh, a deck that is quite known out there. Um, not any guidebook here. Um, this is also Yewellyn printed cardstock. Good. You see the size is back to the kind of normal size as the other Yewellyn. So this is the back in, and, and, and you know, many people have used the normal size and it also comes with the same artist have also made Everyday Witch Oracle. So there's Everyday Witch Tarot and Everyday Witch Oracle. Uh, so this tarot is by Deborah Blake art by Elizabeth Alba, but the oracle is not made by Deborah Blake, it's somebody else, but the artist is the same, uh, Elizabeth Alba, and it's called the Everyday Witch Oracle. So just how that's it. Anyway, so these are the cards. Now, uh, many of you, I think, know these cards. Um, this is not a surprise to anyone that I chose to have this as a, as a mini deck as well. Uh, I use the big deck quite a bit, and I'm very happy with that, so... Yeah, beautiful, beautiful images. The only thing I must say that I noticed a little bit about this mini deck, it's it's a little bit more matte in the colors, and the colors is um, not as vibrant as the normal deck for some odd reason. I mean, it's vibrant enough, it's beautiful enough by all means, but I just noticed that it's, it's matte and it's kind of a little bit more muted colors. A little bit, not much, but a little bit. Just if you are picky. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you're picky. And that's uh, something to think about. Anyway, so these are the images. Quite beautiful. I mean, this is this is a kind of... If, if you do tarot, if you work with tarot, for me at least, this is a must-have. Uh, I think that this deck is really beautiful. I love this Hierophant card here. So, yeah, I mean, I highly recommend this uh, Everyday Witch Tarot, um, which I have showed in other show and tells the big version. I'm going a little bit faster now, people. It's just so many cards. Um, 
so so you can uh, probably find one of the other videos that I've done where I show the real everyday witch uh, tarot. Um, yeah, but these are the mini. So these ones come with me quite often when I go traveling. <laughs> I must say. So that was the Everyday Witch Tarot mini version. Now, moving on to The Witch's Tarot from Ellen Dugan, art by Mark Evans. This is uh, also uh, Yewellen. Cardstock the same, same size. Wait, this is the back, same back as the bigger one. And here are the cards. So I don't know if you know the Witch's Tarot, but the images are also very beautiful here. Uh, all of these cards I've shown you so far, um, except for maybe the Fairy Tarot, are very kind of Rider Waite Smith friendly, uh, where they kind of adopted the original Rider Waite Smith images and, and adjusted them accordingly to their own artwork. But of course the Fairy Tarot, as I showed you before, is very different. But all of the cards I'm showing you today are mass production. There is no Indidex today. Uh, no one has made mini tarot decks out of the Indies. As far as I know, anyways. Um, if you know, then please comment in the comment section below. So these are the Witches Tarot. I, I use um, the, the big cards quite a bit, especially actually around uh, Halloween season uh, but these cards are of course cards you can use all year around by all means um, very beautiful cards indeed and um, so these uh, are so also of, um, these are kind of newer for me so they haven't been in my purse as much but they will be <laughs> because I really really love these cards um, so quick and easy to just throw in your purse when you are on the run most definitely so, and I just love the back of these cards as well. So, that is the Witch's Tarot Mini. Okay, so let's move on. We have the Nicoletta Cicoli Tarot. I think it's also just called the Cicoli Tarot. Uh, so this is Los Carabello. And Los Carabello is Italian, by the way. So it's printed in Italy. Um, and this is a typical Los Garabeo book where all the languages are present, as I said before, where you only have a little bit of information about each card. And let us look at this now. This is the back. I find that quite beautiful. And these are the images. Now the images of the Shikoli Tarot is just so beautiful. I also have the bigger version of these, but I haven't used them as much because they are newer to me. Uh, but these are the images. I just, you know, either you love the style or you don't, kind of. Uh, I find them very beautiful. Very interesting, very different. But you need to know Tarot to be able to use these cards, I would say. Uh, this is not a beginner's deck. So, but a very interesting twist on how she views uh, the different... Uh, meanings of the different cards uh, I must say it's very interesting and and it's it, you, you give it like with this card right here you get that kind of Alice in Wonderland kind of feeling um, and you, you get brought into a totally new world with these cards here uh, I've, I think the color palette is just beautiful I think some of the images here are just gorgeous and very different very interesting for me um, you know, when you've been doing tarot for a while and you have been using especially the kind of normal uh, right away tarot for a while and such, then it's very fun to have something that's this different, you know, uh, to, to have an artist that kind of looks upon things with so different eyes. Uh, that's fun for me. So I really, really, really love this deck. I think it's just beautiful. But as I said in the beginning, you either like it or you don't, <laughs> you know, <gasps> so that's that, you know, I just love this one, the world card, beautiful, anyways, yeah, so this is the Chikali Tarot, people, either it resonates with you or it does not, I think it's one of those either love or hate <laughs> kind of things, <laughs> oh yeah, 
Okay, so that's that. Vanicoletta Chicoli Turo Mini. Okay, moving on, we have the Gilded Turo Royale by Chiro Machetti. Um, I think this is uh, quite new that he has made a uh, mini version tarot. Um, I think he has only done big versions so far. I just need to have a sip of water, just a second. Excuse me. Uh, no, so I think uh, these are brand new to me. I, I haven't barely used them, as you can see. Um, so I think these came out, was it last fall they came out? Um, it doesn't really say here. No, it doesn't say, but I think it's quite new that Chiro Marchetti made a mini version of a tarot deck. So that was pretty cool for me. So this is the back. You know, cardstock is good. It's also Yuellen, uh produced. So these are the cards. And if you know Chiro Marchetti and his work, then you, of course you recognize all of these images. If you don't know him, Oh my goodness, you need to find uh, some of his decks and buy them right away. <laughs> he has made many decks and it's the same kind of style. It's beautiful. Uh, again, very right away Smith friendly. Uh, but his style is unique and I find it really beautiful. So, but of course, again, you I mean, it is what you resonate with. Not everybody resonates with Jerome Marchetti's artwork, but I do. I think it's very beautiful. Straight to the point, easy explained. Uh, you feel the cards. You feel what he's trying to say here. So I find them very beautiful. So, yeah, not much more to say about that, really. I'm just going to flip through them for you. You can be the judge of whether or not this is for you, of course. I have to go a little bit faster or else it's going to take forever. <laughs> we have so many decks to go through, as always. You know? Yeah. So, you get you get the idea, right? Oh, no. oh I love this hermit card here. Beautiful. Anyways, now, so these are just gorgeous cards, I must say. So these are going to be coming with me in my purse quite a bit in the future. Most definitely We're up to the cabin. <laughs> so that's the Gilded Terror Royale by Chiro Marchetti. Now we have the Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore, art by Ali Fell. Uh, this I also have in the normal um, size, by the way. It's also Yewellen uh, printed. This is the back, beautiful, beautiful back, exactly the same as the bigger version. And these are the cards. These are quite dark cards. So um, what I did with the bigger version is actually I cut away the black on the sides here to kind of make the image pop a little bit more since they're, they're so dark. But since the mini cards are so small, I don't want to do the same with the mini cards. So, you know, but what I did with the other, uh, as I said, I just took away the black and then I edged it in brown. And that lightened up the cards a little bit for me, uh, if you're interested in buying the normal size. But the steampunk, I mean, it's really cool. It's modern, it's fun. It's a totally different new take on, uh, on tarot for sure. I really adore this deck, it's so cool. Um, uh, but of course, either you're into steampunk or think that's fun or not. <laughs> so again, it's about what you are into or what you like, you know, so. Um, for me, it's fun. Um, very cool style, I find. So I really love this artwork here by Ali Fell. So I have to give some credit to the artists here because, I mean, for me, the artists are the ones kind of doing the most of the work here, aren't they? Uh, especially when it comes to tarot. Of course, you know, the author needs to make the book and put their kind of way of thinking about the cards and stuff, but think about how much work that goes into making all of these beautiful images for these different tarot decks. Uh, that's a lot of work for an artist. So that's why I'm kind of giving a shout out to the artists today. Uh, so this is um, 
beautiful in my eyes. Beautiful, beautiful deck. So this is a mass production. As I said, you can find it pretty much anywhere. I think I bought mine at Book Depository. I think most of my decks show that I show to you today are bought at the bookdepository.com. Um, but you can probably find them on Amazon as well, wherever there are kind of selling cards, mm, mass production cards. So that's Steampunk Tarot by Bar Barbara Moore and Ali Fell. So that was that, and now I have the last of the mini mini decks, which is the Rider uh, Tarot deck, and then we're gonna move over to the bigger kind of tin can decks, okay? So um, this is the Rider Weight Tarot deck, just plain and simple. Uh, I don't know who printed it. Yeah, US Games printed this. So that comes with a guidebook actually, uh, which is quite uh, good <laughs> actually. It's, it's a lot of information about each card, uh, even the mini version. This is the back. It comes, of course, this, the same back as uh, one of the bigger um, versions of the Rider White Tarot. I don't remember which. Yeah, I think it's just called the Rider Tarot deck. Yeah, also the bigger version. So these are the cards, and you know these cards if you know Tarot. This is just plain and simple Rider with Smith Tarot cards. So I'm not going to go through all of them the same way I did the others, because if you do Tarot, if you're interested in Tarot, you know this deck. It's just a matter of looking at the colors. There, It's matte. Um, the colors are actually quite good. Uh, it's a quite a good print, even though there's small cards here, uh, I must say. So they look more or less exactly the same as the normal size cards here. Uh, as you can see, good colors, good card stock. I mean, overall, very good. So this for me is, of course, a go-to deck because it's, uh, since I know the Rider White Smith Tarot, you, even though the cards are small, uh, you understand very quickly the meaning when you're doing a reading. Uh, so for me, this is if you if you want to buy a mini deck, then maybe this should be your first mini deck, the Rider Tarot deck. So that's that. Quick and easy, people. You know this deck, the Rider Tarot. Okay. So let us go over to this. Uh, I believe it's called Pocket Size Tarot. It's the Radiant Y Spirit Tarot, and it comes in a box like this, Los Garabeo. So the guidebook is, of course, a Los Garabeo book, like I've shown you before, with very little information. This is the back, kind of the uh, normal back. These cards are a little bit bigger than the mini uh, size, and they're called Pocket, okay? So Radiant Y Spirit Tarot, or do they say mini, or do they say... No, it actually doesn't say anything. So you have to look that up. It doesn't say on the box itself. But anyway, so these are the cards. It, of course, again, the Rider with Smith. Um, a little bit bigger than the one I showed you before. So the colors are very beautiful in this deck, I must say. Uh, as you can see, it, it's quite a good print. Very good cardstock as well. So... This is a very good deck as well uh, to throw in the purse. The only problem with that though, <laughs> you want to put it in the pocket in your purse, not throw it in your purse because the lid, the lid is kind of loose. Uh, so the lid can come off if you just throw it in the kind of a big bag or whatever, just to have that said. <laughs> I learn from my mistakes, people. <laughs> I don't have tarot cards flying around in your purse. So um, so that's the only thing. But, you know, very beautiful cards. As you can see, I'm not going to go through all of them, but beautiful colors. Uh, yeah, really good, this one here, without a doubt. But as I said, kind of annoying with a loose lid on this uh, here. I can show you if I do this and then lift it. It comes off. Just wait a second. <laughs> It comes off. <laughs> I did at least. Yeah. So it's, it's sometimes, yeah, here you see, it's, it comes off loose here. So it, it, it is a little bit loose, so I would put it in a pocket if you put it in your purse, just to have that set. So Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Pocket version. Now we have uh, tin cans. 
but first we have this which is not a tin can but is still a smaller version however though this should maybe not be in the mini version or i'm going to zoom out just a little bit because this these cards are a little bit bigger there uh, these are actually the only size that these cards come in so maybe they should have been in the kind of grown-up <laughs> section of tarot cards and not in the mini version but they are more or less the same size as many of the tin canned tarot so that's why I wanted to have this in this grouping they are a little bit taller than the tin can tarot but not much okay but I believe this is the only size that this Hanson Roberts tarot deck comes in illustrated by Mary Hanson Roberts uh, so it is a beautiful deck it's been on the market like forever I think it's US game systems that um, have printed this one um, they also do come in different kind of prints I know some cards are very thin these are not these are the normal size uh, or normal thickness and they there is also an older version which is even thicker than these ones but these are kind of in between thickness uh, but this is the back uh, and I'm of course including them in the mini or pocket version or tin can version just because of the size but anyways this is the normal size of the Hanson Roberts tarot these images are beautiful very easy to understand uh, very right away smith friendly cards I would say um, not so much to say ab uh, other than that um, it's again you know either you like the artist or you don't kind of um, but I, I, I see many people have used these cards uh, for many years and I think many will agree that they love these cards and that they very often come back to their Hanson Roberts um, it, because of the size, it's of course good if you're doing a big reading or if you're doing like the Celtic cross or something where you need to have some, some space for the cards. Uh, so then of course these mini cards are brilliant uh, in, in those kind of readings as well, just to have that said. So uh, for me, I, I really love the Hanson Roberts, okay? Um, I, I keep coming back to them. I actually have three different... <laughs> <laughs> decks. I have the very thin one, I have this one, and I have the thicker version. So I have three versions of this Hanson Robert deck, uh, and this is one that I have thrown in my purse very often. I put them in the kind of a small uh, pouch and just throw them in my bag. So they have been with me uh, many places. Uh, so the other version that I have is just in a little pouch, it's not in a box. So it came in a box, but I put it in a little pouch. Anyways enough about me uh, so these are the images I just find them very beautiful I just love these cards here so I recommend them if you and also they, they are actually quite beginners friendly uh, I must say and you can get them also with the guidebook um, there is a you can get them kind of in a bigger box and there is a hardback little book that comes with it in one of the versions so just to have that said but this is of course another version where you only have uh, the cards themselves but so that's the Hanson Roberts tarot okay now we are getting into the tin can uh, so let's see we have universal weight tarot deck so this is another of course Rider Wet Smith uh, deck uh, these are also the same guidebook as the um, because I think it's US games isn't it yeah it's US games so you have the good descriptions of each card this is the back, so very plain and simple, but still beautiful. And these are the cards. Cardstock is good. Um, US Game System is normally a very good cardstock, but the only thing I must say in this print right here is you can see that the colors are not that vibrant, okay? It's something about, it's a very matte. Uh, so the colors are not as vibrant maybe as some of the other right away text that I've shown you so far but I still wanted to show this to you it's a tin can and of course that's very smart if you're going like to the beach or if you have small children that <laughs> have been sticky fingers uh, around or whatever you know or uh, going to a place where it's snow and skiing and wet and I don't know so it's good to have a tin can it's very protected in a tin can as well of course um, from being damaged so if you're traveling and you want to 
throw something in your suitcase, they will be, of course, very protected in a tin can as well. So just to have that said. So, yeah, so I mean, this is the right away. I'm not going to show you every card here, but you know what I mean when you see that it's kind of matte uh, a little bit. But yeah, either you like it or you don't or you don't mind or whatever. So, uh, but I still love the cards. And also for me, it's important to have the different backs since I do pick a card readings and such, you know, on YouTube. So that's why I wanted to also have some different versions of the Right Away Tarot in tin can or in this size here. So that's the universal weight tarot deck. And then I, of course, have another one here, Radiant Right Away Tarot, US game system as well. So I don't have to show you the guidebook. This is the back of those. Uh, so also starry kind of. Uh, but these ones are more radiant. And you see also the image is a little bit smaller. Uh, and um, with the words are, are quite big on this one as well. So, it's, so you see these are very bright colors again. So you see all of these are are not the same decks. <laughs> it's not like you can buy one tin can of the Rider Waite Smith and yep, I have it. You know, everyone is the same. It's not, they're very different. So you see this one is totally different again. And it's almost like there's been a different artist who made this uh, reproduction. Uh, it's it's different, it's slightly different uh, artistry in this, uh, if you can see that. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but yeah, you see what I mean, right? If you know the right away to roll, you know what I mean. But I would say that this is uh, beautiful because it's so vibrant in the colors. Uh, it makes me happy. <laughs> I get a happy-go-lucky feeling with these cards. And that's never bad. So, yeah. Yeah, I know I'm being silly. That's just me. <laughs> I am called a happy hippie after all. <sighs> anyway, so that was that. Was that. The Radiant Ride the Way Tarot deck. The yellow box here, so radiant right away to roll tin can. So, okay, now yet another right away to <laughs> Ah, but this one is called Smith Weight Tarot deck. You you notice that they all actually have different names, even though it's the same artist. This is the Centennial edition, okay? Uh, includes two samples of Pixies non tarot art. And that's the original Pamela Coleman Smith that made these um, cards to begin with. She, uh, they have included a couple of her uh, artwork from other that she made for other things. And also, if you buy the bigger version of the Centennial, then you also get even more uh, extra cards. Just to have that said. Um, so this is the back. I, I, I find that quite beautiful. Um, in the bigger versions, it's this kind of back or a little bit more greenish. And then there is a kind of a darker green, but with the same images. So you also get different kind of uh, color variations on this same deck here. So this, however, is kind of a vintage look, okay? It's meant to look this way. It's the centennial. So uh, so that's why it looks, you know, it's it's matte and the colors are a little bit kind of muted if you will and it's got a grayish not so white so it's kind of meant to look a little bit vintage this deck okay so that's why so this uh, this deck I find also very beautiful and uh, you know in its own way uh, either you like it or you don't kind of thing I mean it is the same images as the original Rider Waite Smith Tarot uh, but it is just kind of made to look vintage uh, for me so, but it is, for me, a beautiful deck. I enjoy it. I find that it's fun to have these different uh, kinds of tarot decks, even though it is the same. <laughs> you only need one deck, really, uh, you know. But for me, uh, as a reader, I think it's fun to have the different kinds, and that's just me, you know. So these are the cards, uh, people. I don't know what else to say here, but it's... Uh, yeah, I find them interesting and fun anyways. And that the back as well. So I actually have three different, you know, right away Smith uh, smaller cards to choose from when I do a pick a card, which for me is, of course, very fun. So that was Smith Weight Tarot Deck Centennial Edition. Now, oh, things are falling down. I have three more decks to show you, and we're going to start with the Vanessa Tarot tin can. US game systems as well. Um, 
yeah, it doesn't really say anything about the artist here. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, there it says by Leonard Narciso. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, but this is, uh, yeah, a good guidebook as well. It's uh, a lot of information about the different cards. Beautiful. I love this back on these cards. Beautiful fun deck, fun colors. Uh, wait, so I like using them in, in um, my readings as well. Uh, pick your card readings. So, quite different this deck. This is a very special artistry. Fun, kind of... Yeah, you could say childish in one sense, uh, but I would rather say child-friendly, not childish. But anyways, no, I, I find this deck very fun. Um, it's so different from other decks that I have seen before, and so I really, really love that. Uh, I'm, it's not the beginner's deck. I would not use this as a beginner's deck. Uh, I think you should know Tarot before using this deck, because it really doesn't <laughs> say much... <laughs> Uh, you know, unless you really know tarot, or unless you're willing to use the guidebook, of course. But anyways, I, I personally, I wouldn't use it for a beginner stick, but that's just me. But I find these images modern and fun and different and playful. It's fun colors. They are matte, the cards, but still, I think the colors are quite vibrant anyway. So I think this is a fun deck. I really like this deck. So... That's just me. Either you like this style or you don't, kind of, right? That's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what you think. What do you think, people? Comment below if you have any comments. I read all the comments. I try to respond to everything. So let me know what you feel about this video today and about the different cards and if you have any suggestions to cards that you think I might appreciate then please comment below I love to find new decks you know that so do that if you will yeah so this is the Vanessa Tarot I have used it a couple of times in my readings um, last year Maybe not as much as I wanted to, but, you know, since I have a lot of decks, I need to rotate them a little bit. <laughs> so, there you go. That's this. Vanessa Tarot. There you go. Okay, so we have two more decks to go through. The Sun and Moon Tarot by Vanessa Decor. U.S. Game Systems as well. So then, of course, you know that the guidebook is going to be good. I must say about that, that about U.S. games, they, they normally have very good guidebooks. Now, the backs of these cards are, you know, you see all the colors on the front, and then this is the back. <laughs> so for me, it was kind of, oh, okay. They could have kind of had a little bit more playful back, maybe, but that's just me being critical. Anyways, cardstock is good and you see that they're a little bit taller and, and thinner uh, which is kind of cool about this they have also now um, made a big version of this they only came in the small version I think to begin with uh, if I'm not mistaken I've also gotten the new uh, bigger version uh, recently uh, actually so I'm going to uh, um, add that in um, video in the future because I'm going to have a a video soon about six new decks that I have, but not this week, but another week. But anyways, so these are the cards uh, from the Sun and Moon. Very, very special uh, images here. For me, very different and very beautiful. Um, it is also with an, a word on the top. And if you are a tarot reader that has kind of made your own way of reading, then you might feel like this is not for me. <laughs> I know sometimes that's irritating when there's words printed on the cards, but for me, I, I feel like it is, it's okay. I, I, I don't mind the words, okay? Either you just ignore them or you include them in the reading, up to you. Um, but anyways, you know, it's just a small uh, arcana that has the words on it, not the big, the major arcana. So, yeah. And not the court cards either, as you can see here. So it's just uh, from 1 to 10 of the minor arcana that has the words on them. 
And that's okay. That's okay. But I find the images very beautiful. Uh, this is so fun because it's very much uh, also including that sorrow isn't just sorrow, but it might also be in your head. So, you know, that, that's a fun way of looking at the Three of Swords. Anyways, no, so a very different deck. Um, I find these images beautiful and interesting, different. And they have kind of, of course, taken their own uh, way of interpreting each card. Uh, and you're allowed to do that when you're an artist, you know, so uh, and it's fun to see different ways of looking at the tarot. I find that very interesting. So I learn a lot from that. You know, I, I, I see that, oh, this card can be read in that way. I didn't think about that before, you know, so so for me, that's very interesting. So but again, you know, either you like this style or you don't, you know, either you appreciate this artistry or not. So. Um, it is a matter of taste, and it's a matter of what resonates for you, right? So, you must feel into is if this deck is something for you. Yep. Yeah. So that's that, the Sun and Moon uh, Tarot, and as I said before, it also comes in a normal tarot uh, size, and you can find them pretty much anywhere. Sun and Moon Tarot. I just need a sip of water before we get into this last deck, which is the White Sage Tarot. Okay, this, people, is one of my favorite decks. It only comes in this size. Uh, I wish they would make big, bigger sizes of this, because I just adore it. But, you know, it is what it is. It's uh, US Games as well. So you have the same kind of guidebook. Uh, you know, and is Ter Teresa Hutch is the name of the artist of this. What I'm going to do before I show you the tarot is to try and reach for another deck right here, which is another deck that she made called the Land Sky Oracle. Uh, so, so if you like the images of this, you might want to look into this Land Sky Oracle as well. But I'm not going to show you that right now. I'm going to show you the images of the tarot of the mini. So, but I just wanted to tell you that she's made an oracle deck as well. And that, and that oracle deck is very much about um, uh, yoga as well, the yogic culture, just to have that said. Anyway, so this is the White Sage Tarot. This is the back. Uh, quite simple, but beautiful, I think. Uh, you know, easy breezy. These are the images. Now, I find these images so beautiful. I do believe she uses watercolor, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like it. This deck ha has been one of my favorites for a long time, okay? It just speaks to me. I find the images so beautiful. The uh, color palette I find very beautiful in this. It's to the point, plain and simple, but I do feel like you need to know tarot a little bit before did I show the Wheel of Future? Yeah. Um, so so um, I think you need to know Tarot a little bit to understand this deck. Since, like here, it just says Nine of Pentacles. You kind of need to know what that stands for. Uh, but for me, who have been reading Tarot for a while, I find this very, deck very beautiful. And very much so because if you know me and if you know my work and when I've been going through decks before, you know I love otters. <laughs> Ah, it's just something about otters that is just so playful and fun, you know. Anyway, and I love this death card where you see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, that's just so beautiful. Um, you know, it's about transformation, going through something tough and coming out the other side, you know, into the light. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I find this deck so beautiful, people. Um, I don't know, either you like it or you don't, but look at this. King of Pentacles wisdom no so i i i don't know it, it's just something that speaks to me uh in these images here i just love it the hermit is the sloth that's so funny see the otter again uh i love that so yeah either you love it or you don't people uh that's my take on it i just adore it but that's just me um another otter Aren't they cute though? Look at this. So cute. So I love it. Plain and simple. 
if you love it too, then go ahead and find it and buy it because it's so worth it. It really, it, it just works for me, this deck. Uh, you know, I I don't know why. <laughs> I can't explain it. And I love this lover's card here. Isn't that beautiful? So, yeah. That's it, people. That is the White Sage Tarot by Teresa Hutch. Um, so... I feel like I have to show you a couple of the cards from her other day now as well. <laughs> Maybe I should just just to be nice, you know, just to show you a couple of the images here. Look at that. I mean, come on. Is she a beautiful artist or isn't she? I mean, this is such a beautiful deck as well. Um, very much about uh, yogic uh, pranayama. Uh, yeah, different. Yeah, so, yeah, I just wanted to very quickly show you that. I'll probably have that in another show until another day. Or maybe I ha have already, I don't know. But anyways, no, back to the Tarot. So this is the White Sage Tarot by Teresa Hutch, and you can get it pretty much anywhere. It's a mass production, so that's that. Now, people, that was that was my show and tell of my mini cards and my um, tin can cards, if you will. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like when I do these little videos here where I show and tell my <laughs> my collection of cards. Uh, I do have plans to make several more. I will zoom out for you guys a little bit here. I do have plans to make several more. I'm going to show you all my angel cards. I'm going to show you all my fairy cards, all my astrological cards. You know, it will be different kind of topics uh, with different cards. And also check out my uh, playlist on my collection, uh, my tarot or my deck collection, I think it's called. So you'll find many videos about new decks and old decks and my favorite decks and so on. So uh, lots of stuff over there. If you're interested in channeled work, if you're interested in, you know, information from the universe, source energy, angels, ascension process, awakening, and those kind of things, I have another channel called Pure Light Awakening. You'll find that in the description box below, so you can jump on over there and see what I do there, okay? But anyways, thank you so much for being part of this video today. Thank you for subscribing, If you and if you haven't, then click the bell, subscribe, click the bell, and uh, get notified every time I upload another video of my collection, okay? So thank you so much for being with me today. Until the next time, I'll see ya. Bye.